The second topic is to prove theorems about angles. We are dealing with angles. Mainly we have to use this angle addition postulate. It is very basic, very simple. Only few concepts needs to be remembered. Now, whenever you see this 90 degree, what does this mean? That is 90 degrees. Sorry, I told whenever you see this 90 degree, this is a right angle. Sorry, whenever you see a right angle, you must remember it is 90 degrees. That is the first thing. And also you must always remember if there are many angles formed in a, uh, say over here you can see there is one angle, one angle, one angle. Many angles are formed in this figure. The sum, if it is known, must be equal to sum of the individual angles. What it means is, now if you add this 1, 2, 3, it must be equal to the total sum. So how do we find it? If this total is given, now let's solve this anyways, they want to find this, the th third one. They have given you the first and the total. You know the second is 90. All you need to do is the total minus 1 and 2 will give you the 3. Let us see over here. First analyze the given figure. We know what is given, given in the figure, sorry. 1 is given, 2 is not given, but you must know 2 is 90 degrees. And then total angle is that is measure of ABC, that is 131. Now, what do you do? Apply the angle addition postulate. What it says is if you add 1, 2, and 3, the total sum must be equal to the 131. And then what you do is just simplify and solve. This is by substitution property, where we substitute all that we know and find the unknown. So 131 minus 23 minus 90 will give you 18. And that is it, that is the answer. Similarly, using this concept, the little complicated problems can be solved. Whereas over here, there is no angle. There is no 30 degree. There is no 40 degree. It's just in X and Y terms. But it's the same. Over here, they have told measure of angle 4 and measure of angle 5. Now, which is the theorem that you know over here? See, a straight line is always 180 degrees. If it's a, now, if it's a straight line, it's always 180 degrees. If it's a circle, it is 360. You know, if it's two line, two sides, a protractor, for example, you have 180, 180. So, total will be 360. But if it's only one, then it is just 180. Now, this straight line can be tilted. It can be tilted like this or like this. Anywhere, you will have 180 degree. So, now, for example, over here, 4 and 5, measure of 4 and 5, here 4 and 5, you add it up, it must be equal to 180, there is no other angle, so it must be equal to 180, so add it. And one more thing, if this is 4, opposite, vertically opposite angles, so they are also equal, 4 and 4, this will be, and this will be equal to over here, it will be 5. So this is one more thing, but for now, this 4 and 5 will be equal to 180 degrees. So, some, some of these both will be 180, right? So, all you need to do is given. Now, angle additional postulate. Over here, we know from supplementary theorem, supplement is about 180 degrees. Now, all you need to do is add these both and that will be 180 degree. Uh, what is these values? Substitute over here by substitution property. x plus 9 plus 2x. The x value is... 57 degrees. Now, is it over? No, they asked us to find measure of angle 4. We found the x value. Now, substitute x over here and solve. You will get x plus 9, that is 57 plus 9. 66 is your final answer. 66 degrees. Now, there is one more thing. Just remember, if it's two angles, if it's like a straight line, this is supplement. Now, if it is a right angle, then it is called a complement. Now, it's up to you to remember whichever method is easy. But now I'll tell you how you can remember is Complement is telling something good or you, you have done something right. Therefore, you tell compliments. So, if they tell you complementary, remember right because you are told right or something. The right angles are always 90 degree. So, this is one way. But a supplement is 180 degree. Supplement is giving something extra. Now, if you go to gym, some of you might have uh, known, you know, some people who go to gym take supplements. That is something extra. So, 90 degrees 
complement extra to this give another 90 that will be 180 this is supplementary 180 would be supplement so that's about these problems now it's your turn pause this video now over here and solve these by yourselves and they are not difficult they're easy they're simple problems please do solve it by yourselves i'll just tell you we a few of them this measure of abcd i'll just tell you in general how to do the total measure is given as 120 degrees so add them both they equal to 120 and you can solve it now say for example you can use your calculator for this okay i'm just doing it directly now we know 2x plus 5x minus 6 that is equal to 120 that is the addition, angle addition postulate if you press equal to you will not get the answer because x is variable you need to press shift and then solve it up what is the answer you will get 18 over here the x value is 18 but what do you want is c b d so instead of x put 18 that is the answer minus 6 and now this is the answer 84 so this is the thing now over here x was 18 oh sorry we have to find both i just saw c b d we know x was 18 18 times 2 is 36 that's it this was 54 and this is 36 now over here it is the same thing they have given you the sum add them all you can do it in calculator and solve it similarly you can try all of them over here two and threes can you see over here? two and three they have told complement complement means a right these both are 90 degree whereas one uh okay and they have told this is equal to this these both are equal one and four and they have given you this measure so if they have told you two you can easily find this is 28 so what is the remaining angle 90 minus 28 it will be 62 so this will be 62 now this total is a supplementary right so total is a straight line so you know this uh 28 this is 62 now 1 and 4 is equal so let me write x unknown value x and x over here because if this is x this is also x why because they both are same all you need to do is now alpha x sorry alpha and x plus 28 because it is given then you need to add to 62 and then you need to again add x that will be equal to equal to 180 degrees so now when you press shift and solve you will get the answer 45 you can see over here i'm so sorry the x value is 45 yeah that's it correct uh, i thought we had to substitute anything no x is 45 and over here we didn't have an equation we assume this angle to be x so now angle 1 is 45 yes angle 2 is not as it's given 28 angle 3 is 62 and angle 4 again is 45 degrees so this is how we can solve all these problems please do try it by yourselves and solve they're very very straightforward and if you know one angle say over here m is 105 then this will be 180 minus that same way easily you can find the angles